We set up feeders early in the spring and we try to celebrate this part, they're migrating south. So this is one of the way stations they stop to get some rest, get something to eat on their way down as they go down to Mexico and the Caribbean that way. So September 8th, 9th or 10th, we'll have the feeders up before and after that also set up in the park. But then come out, check out those. We'll have information about hummingbirds, about the native plants that they use. We're doing a photo gallery also where some local artists have taken pictures and that. So there's a lot of different information uh, on that Mid-Continent Library. will be out with the pop-up library with resources also. So if people want to learn more places, they can go for that too. But most of the activities those days are the same throughout Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But on that Saturday morning from 8 to 10, Josh, who is our expert bird bander, will be out if the weather cooperates and be banding birds so people can see them a little more up close and not moving as, as fast as they normally do. All the native plants that we plant, that we promote, whether it's bee balm, cardinal flower, things like that, they help hummingbirds, but also any of the pollinators that we have, so bees, monarchs, they're just good all around for the independence area. Personally, I haven't seen as many hummingbirds as I see out here in one spot. They're just fun to watch.